Hi, I'm Bridget. I'm the New South Wales Young Greens Women's Officer. Hi, I'm Irene Boutney. I'm the Greens Councillor on the City of Sydney. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm a Green Senator from New South Wales. Hi, I'm Meereen. I'm a Greens MP in the Upper House of New South Wales Parliament. Uh, my name's Darrell and I'm the convener of the Women's Group. My name is Dee. Um, I've been a member of the Greens since 2001. I'm Dan. I've been involved in the Greens for about five years now. Um, hi, Christine. I've been a Greens member for about 13 years. I joined the Greens because I wanted to be a key part of a social movement for justice and equality and a social movement that actually fights through grassroots activism. I'm very proud of the Greens' long history of affirmative action and women's empowerment. A big challenge for women today remains the pay gap between the genders. It's astounding that in 2014, women can still be paid only 70% of the wage that a man would be paid doing exactly the same job. One that I think really stands out is domestic violence um, and sexual harassment. Uh, that, for me, is probably a, a huge part of my life. Um, I've seen domestic violence myself. I mean, I grew up in the 1950s and the 1960s where a woman couldn't open a bank account without her father or her husband's permission. What I've always been really concerned about is women having full participation in decision making everywhere. At the moment, what I see is conservative governments across Australia winding back women's rights. So we know that in Australia, we still can't take these rights for granted. Look, um, in Australia, the challenge is enormous when you've got the Abbott government. No gender awareness, it's summed up with the Abbott cabinet. Out of 19 in the cabinet, there's only one woman. And the discrimination women are facing is becoming more extreme. So International Women's Day is an amazing opportunity for everyone to come together and celebrate the wonderful achievements that women have made in society. It's recognition of women. It's recognition about what we've done, what we can do and what we will do. It's an event that I've been, I connect with on a personal level and I've been bringing my daughter to International Women's Day since, she, since I was pregnant with her. So we've been going together every year. So it's a really beautiful bonding experience for us to celebrate our femaleness. International Women's Day is a reminder to me of the fantastic women in the world. It really is a very global event but it also is historic because when International Women's Day came about more than 100 years ago, life was very tough for women. And to have the courage to travel from countries all around the world to a big conference to decide we should come together once a year to stand up for women. And that women went on strike to demonstrate that need is something that is, inspires me whenever I think about it. I've been inspired so many times by the women around me, the women in my workplace, the women in the Greens, the women who I see doing the kinds of things that I hope one day to do. And I think having those mentors is essential. Having women that can give you their time and share with you their stories and experience and show you that uh, anything's possible if you decide you want to work to it. Main advice would be just to laugh and um, keep going and just know that you're not by yourself. And I think that one of the main things, qualities, is um, persistence, keep on going, a belief that what you're doing is right, and a good ability at dancing, I think. <laughs> because as Rosa Luxemburg said, if I can't dance, I don't want to be part of your revolution. <laughs>